today the topic is on solving questions from Venn diagrams. The prime knowledge that you need before solving these questions is the idea about the key terms union, intersection and complement. We will start with the term union. If you have two sets of data which includes a group of artists and a group of wrestlers, then if you are asked to find the union, it just means together. So the total of uh, both the artist and the wrestler. So that is the meaning of union together. Intersection is when you have a person who can play football and he prefer eating ice creams. So when you're trying to sort people between playing football and eating ice creams, he is that guy that falls in both the categories. So to identify such people on a Venn diagram, we use an intersection, which is an inverted U. Now you can see intersection in, that means the data that falls in both a category, both the categories. Complement is when you have uh, a set of girls which have blue eyes. So if you have someone with a green eye, you call it or you call her the A complement. So, complement is nothing but not in the group. You have the set A denoted by the capital letter A and A complement, you, call, you have a dash, A dash or A complement is something which is not in the group. Now, let's take an example here. To find A union B, we have a Venn diagram given with set A and set B. So, A union B, as we said, together. So we need A and we need B. So it's going to be the elements of A union B are 3, 4, 6, 2, 1, which is exactly from this yellow region. And make sure when you write the elements of A and B, 6 is a common in between both the sets. You don't have to repeat it, just write it once. And if you're asked to find n of a union b, now n stands for the number of elements in a union b. It's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have 5 elements, so n of a union b is written as 5. In the same Venn diagram, a intersection b is given by 6. 6 is the common element between a and b. So a intersection b is the element 6. If you are asked to find the n, the number of terms in A intersection B, your answer is 1 because you only have 6 there. Complement. Here, A complement means the data that doesn't fall inside the circle A. So that means everything outside of A. So here you have 2, 1 and 25. And N of A complement the number of elements. You can see 1, 2, 25. So you have three elements. B complement here is again. This is B. You have the circle. And B complement is everything outside B. Which is 3, 4 and 25. Again, N of B complement is 3. Because you have three terms. 3, 4 and 25. Question 1. In the Venn diagram, shade the region P complement union Q. So when you have a union, it's always easy because you just have to shade what is there on the left part and you shade the region on the right part of the union sign. So shading P complement first. P complement is everything outside P. The region not including the circle. And then you have union with Q. So Q is this complete circle. You already have major part of Q shaded. So to complete the whole circle, you have to shade this part too. So once you are done with your shading, your end figure, the Venn diagram, should look like this. Question 2. There are 50 students in the group. Okay. 
34 have mobile phones that means the number of uh, students with mobile is going to be 34 which technically means that all the data the sum of all the numbers inside the circle M should be 34 39 have computer so the number of uh, students with computer is 39 that means in the whole circle of there should be a total of 39 and 5 have no mobile phones and no computer that means these 5 are not falling into both of these categories so we will start from there so 5 is outside the two circles why because they don't fall into both of these categories now if you look at the sum here can you see this 34 plus 39 giving you a 73 which is not true why because you just have a total of 50 students so I have seen students writing a 34 and a 39 here and then don't know what to do because you still have something to be filled. So this is a wrong approach. Let's see how to figure it out. I'll be showing you two methods. Let's start with the first one. Since you don't have the number of uh, students who have both a mobile phone and a computer, we start by writing an X there. Now to complete the circle and to fill the data here, you know 34 is the total number of students who have mobile. So X, which is the common, who have both mobile and computer. So the remaining here should be 34 minus X. Similarly, if you have a total students having computer 39, X falling as an intersection or a common students between both so here it should be 39 minus x now we have to find the value of x now the data given is 50 students that means every numbers inside or every data inside the Venn diagram should add up to 50 so you have 34 minus x plus x plus 39 minus x plus 5 so I have just taken all the 4 data from here and you equate it to 50 because the sum should be uh, the total number of students which is 50 simplifying this linear equation plus x minus x cancels so the remaining I have 73 plus 5 minus x equals 50 so here it's going to be 78 minus x is equal to 50. I will be shifting this 78 to the other side. So which gives me negative x on this side is equal to 50 minus 78. So negative x equals negative 28. Or you can just say x is equal to 28. Now once you have found the value for x, let me replace it here. This is going to be 28, which is the number of students who have both mobile phone and a computer. So 34 minus X, which is 34 minus 28, which is equal to 6. Now 39 minus 28, which is going to be 11. And just to check your answer, you can always check 6 plus 28, yes, it's 34, and the number of computers, 28 plus 11, 39. So that's how you complete this answer. Moving on to the second question. A fitness club has 60 members. 35 of the members attend the club's aerobic course, A. 28 members attend the club's yoga course Y. 17 members attend both the courses. Now we have to start from the 17 members who attend both the courses. As we know, they form the intersection, the region here. 
So Q here is going to be 17. Now let me share the set of questions asked. Write down the value of Q. Okay, here Q is 17 because it is the common uh, region, the intersection between A and Y, and you have 17 members. Find the value of P. Now, to get P, you have the total of all the members that go for the aerobics course, which is 35. So, from this data, we should realize that it is P plus Q giving you a total of 35. So for sure P is going to be equal to 35 minus Q which is 35 minus 17 giving you 18. So P is 18. Next part of the question. Calculate the number of members of the fitness club who attend neither aerobics course nor the yoga course. So they are not falling into both these circles, so which means they should be outside the circle. Now the question is how many? We have 60 members to be illustrated inside the Venn diagram. So let me just mark this as X and making an equation, I can write 18 plus 17 plus 11 plus x gives me a total of 60 members. I have added all the four terms from the figure making it to a total 60. So from this, when you solve this equation, I can get the answer 46 plus x giving you a 60 from which x is going to be 60 minus 46 giving you a 14. Now the last part, part D, shade on your Venn diagram, A complement intersection Y. So which means, where is A complement in Y? So A complement means the region outside of A falling in Y. So this is where you have A complement falling in Y. So this is the answer. Now if you have difficulty finding it this way, I can also give you an alternate method to find the region. You shake the region that comes on the left hand side which is A complement. So A complement is the region outside A. Then you shade the second part which is Y. Intersection is nothing but the overlapping region or where you have them, you have the common elements of both A complement and Y. So once you have done this separately, can you see the overlapping lines here? So that is your solution. So this is the region which is your required answer.